Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel. I've been using today to shoot a fair few videos on detailing. And I figured it'd be just nice to fire up the camera and not have anything in mind that I want to talk about and just talk to you while I'm polishing so you can keep me company because I'm going mad here. Um, let's just talk, talk about how we're doing with the car. The, I've been experimenting with the car as well, just getting a you know getting a chance to get some more time with some of these single stage abrasives uh anyway the front of the car is being polished okay i'm happy with it i'm happy with the the cutting the defect removal and all that sort of stuff i need to degrease and then i need to do some little stone chip touch-ups and stuff like that and i'll do that at the end when all the car is polished but effectively the bonnet and the bumper are done apart from the stone chips there's a lot of stone chips you when you're polishing cars you see everything and you you can get a bit down you know because you, you sort of see everything but this it's not too bad actually it's not too bad it's just got a few stone chips though um probably enough to say that you wouldn't repaint it would you you wouldn't repaint it once i've chipped these filled these chips in um it'll be fine rest of it it's really easy really easy actually now let's just say so the front of the car is effectively done both wings bonnet bumper um in terms of i'm happy with the cut and finish i will go over the car and finish it with like a the belt hember cleanser polish which will leave some resins and prime the surface um i've done the roof on this side i've done all along here up to here so that can actually come off now. Never leave these tapes on for too long. In fact, I can reuse that. Just a bit. You know, nothing wrong with reusing action. Save a bit of money. Get your money's worth. Oh, hold on. Um, let's put this tape over. So we're going to do this rear quarter pillar here and just make sure we cover this so we don't smother it in polish which is fine just gives us a little bit of protection uh, I need to do come back and do this door that wing mirror all in there not too worried about these black things they're in good nick actually just I'll put a bit of the, the filler glaze on those um, that'll put those nice and buffed up quite good this actually this car because it doesn't have any of the plastics um you know those plastic pillars that are a pain so come on all right and there we go so there's our tape now let's just get that in there This little tool is so handy. Um, so handy, the BMW hard paintwork finishes out lovely. You know, um, finishes out so good with a single stage, you're gonna to struggle to notice the difference. But that final buff with a soft pad and a glaze will give me that, hopefully that autumn chain. <laughs> right, let's... Um, Let's just polish this out. So I've cleaned that off just with a brush. This has been shaken. Get out of there, you swine. What's going on? That is open. There we go. Don't need a lot. Oops, a daisy. Come with me. <laughs> so we're polishing when you're using this little mini tool, you want to polish in quite small sections, really. So we'll probably go from here to there. And that's all we're gonna really polish. If you try and do too much, you're not gonna get decent results. You need two hands, so this is gonna to have to be put down somewhere. I'd like you to be able to see. No, you can see from over there. It might be, it looks a bit small on the GoPro, but it's pretty close to me. So can you see? Yeah, you can. Um, so as always, we spread. Let me crank up a little bit of pressure. Thank you. 
another tip for you when you're brushing out the pad make sure when you put the brush on it's not firing the polish all the spent polish dust up at you it's firing it away from you so you're not honking it all in and do it outside should do really i've been doing it inside and outside um okay fantastic little tool i have no problems with battery management i've turned turned the batteries off because it makes a noise these things but they'll be charged before this runs out so i can just round robin and i've got loads of batteries anyway well i'll just turn those off um so if we have a look at the polish no dust when everything is going smoothly it's so nice it's so nice and you can just take your time and buff that back look it all goes good just be careful with this sticky tape make sure nothing's sticking up and just buff it back we're looking for good paint work and everything looks good in this low light but really you've got to you've got to get this out and you've got to look at it in proper light and decide if you're happy with the finish but if you take your time and do a good set more often than not it's really good and i'm just sort of happy with this level of correction you know what i mean well it's really good it's a nice bit of the car actually these for some reason the roof and these pillars are in pretty good nick um yeah, it's just the front with the stone chips really but on the positive note, the bumper's been done, so it's got a new bumper on it. So there's hard, there's no stone chips on the front bumper. Um, yeah, and the paint, it's going to be lovely. This tool has more than enough power to cut away swirls. You know, when you really want to go hard at the paint, yes, it's a bit, bit lightweight. But look at the size of it, but that's single staging with it there with the flex purple pads it takes out swirls no problem um yeah great tool really good i love using it combine it up with this the xce which is a fantastic polisher um let's take that we can stay away from that so i'll just put a little bit down so i know I where to polish up to when I come back later on. I've done the doors somewhere. We got a bit further down, didn't I? About there. I'll get the light on it again. Um, let's get that tape out of the way. These cloths are phenomenal as well. When everything's working, it's really good. <laughs> um, when, when things go wrong, it's horrible. And things can go wrong. <laughs> but generally, Generally, it's really good. Having loads of time is lovely, isn't it? I can just potter around like an old fart. So, next thing is these doors. It's nice when you've got the thing at the right height. I'm gonna have to, I prefer polishing standing up. Like, I wish I had a lifter and I could get this up to my chest height and just work on that side. But sitting down, just holding the polisher a bit awkwardly and stuff like that it's a bit of a pain anyway just got to crack on i'm gonna for the rest of the day i'm gonna get this door done this rear quarter panel done and the skirt done and then that'll be it for today and then tomorrow it'll be quite an easy thing i'm just gonna uh, do the other side the other side of the roof and the back of the car and i'm you know Ideally, it'd be about like four hours or something like that. Uh, but it always takes a bit longer. I was only going to do a few hours today. I've been pottering around. In fact, I've been polishing a long time. I feel a bit tired. Um, that's it, guys. Having, you know, having the gear and having the garage does help. It does help. Um, I'm not trying to do too much. Not trying to rush that's the biggest thing if you try and polish big areas quickly you know um you don't clean your pads out properly um 
if you don't have the right lighting, you won't even know. It will just kind of look good in low light or a, you know, a budget torch. It will kind of look okay. But in real, the heavier the light, the more it shows you everything. Um, with the ultimate heavy light being those clear days with no clouds where the sun is sitting on your car. You can see the reflection of it. That shows everything, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, and uh, no one's car is perfect when you get that sort of sunlight on it. This car will never be perfect, but we have, it's so easy what we're doing. We're just taking out 99% plus, plus or minus 5% of the swells very, very rapidly with nice, nice, calm, consistent sets of polishing over the target area and then having a little look and making sure we're generally happy and then moving on. So there you go, guys. Thank you for watching. And uh, see you soon on the Forensics Detailing Channel.